everyone, welcome back to another 1-6 scale figure review. Today will be the Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. This is a figure that I've been waiting a really, really long time for. I do have the Luke from Return of the Jedi. This is with the Mando sculpt. I sold this version of Luke many, many years ago, the deluxe version with the poncho, because I was just waiting so long to have a Return of the Jedi Vader to be partnered up with him. And eventually when this guy was up for pre-order, I was like, well, shit, now I have to get this guy again. And with the update, with the sculpt, the Mandalorian head sculpt with the rolly eyes, and with the original hair that came with the original release, I think this looks really, really good. And we got the Vader there in the back. Really, really nice updates with the head sculpt, the mask. The bucket looks really, really good compared to some other Vaders from Hot Toys. There are some negatives though with both of these guys and it is material, unfortunately. Hot Toys still haven't learned that these materials deteriorate over time. I'm sure they're well aware of it. It's just that for some figures they just don't care. So what I'm going to do now is take Luke out of the equation and just have Vader on his own. I have done a custom swap out and just a regular review to Luke. So if you want to check that out, I might as well pop it in the description and in the link below. And yeah, pretty much on to Vader now. So if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. And we'll get right into it. So we've got Vader on his own here, and I think it's best to go through some of the negatives that I have experienced already with this guy. And the first thing is the bodysuit and the pleather that is constantly put around this guy, no matter what release we have so far. So you can see on the collar of the cape, is pleather going down to the bodysuit the undersuit in the chest piece is all pleather going extending to the arms so all that is pleather going right down to the legs pleather and all the way down to the boots is pretty, pretty much pleather as well and as you can see, just quickly, I have replaced the display base. I'm not the biggest fan of the standard edition display base. I didn't get the deluxe because I didn't see a use of having the stairs and the head sculpt stand. But something about Hot Toys stands, especially with pleather material, is the crotch grabber digs into this material and just shreds it up. And this is a very pleather feeling suit like i have old hot toy figures so the blade and the crow and it feels like the exact same quality of those and those didn't last long you know so i'm very worried about this guy and having a crotch grabber dig into it is not good so i just have a standard acrylic one And I think it is a cop-out to say that this looks good because it does. And I do have it in my collection because I do want a Vader. And Return of the Jedi is my favorite look of Vader. It's the wrap-up to the trilogy, so I have to have it in my opinion. But I, I don't know. I, I just don't feel stuff like this is acceptable for today's standards. 
And they're still doing it. I mean, they just released the Artisan Harley from the Suicide Squad, James Gunn's movie. That's supposed to be the Hot Toys top of the range line, and they're still giving pleather material. And then we're getting a DX Terminator, which so far has real leather. So I, I just, I, I don't get why they're picking and choosing which figures they make deserve the better quality. You know, you either go all in or don't make that leather material. And I do think it is a cop out to say, well, yeah, this looks good. I mean, yeah, it does, but it's not in five to ten years. That is if they don't make a 2.0 to cover their ass. And unfortunately, this is just one of the many figures from Hot Toys where this is all you can do with it, as in posability wise, because again, the materials won't hold up. Similar to a lot of their Batman figures, their Spider-Man figures. This is the extent of all you could do if you want it to last somewhat, some years. So, at the end of the day, I'm perfectly fine having Vader stand like this. Because I was going for the source material from a image of Vader holding his son's lightsaber with Luke here handcuffed from the scene where Luke obviously gets apprehended, turns himself in to try and convince Vader to go back to the light side and join him. So I like that. It's all good that I'm having a static pose like this. But part of me would really love to have them posed up like the end battle scene. You know, having Vader hold his lightsaber with two hands. I just don't want to risk it with this guy. And yeah, just quickly, it comes with a lot of electronics. This comes with some different party tricks compared to the previous Vaders. This has a USB-C cord shoved in his back. So, if you remove his cloak and turn him around you see these ugly wires sticking out behind him which kind of is fitting for Vader because he is a mechanical man pretty much but yeah I'm not using the LED light up effects I just don't see the point And you know what's kind of oddly funny is I played back a lot of my footage here and this is probably one of my more somber, sad reviews if that, <laughs> as weird as it sounds because I've just been so zoned out with this franchise, which is interesting because this is one of Hot Toys' biggest money makers, Star Wars and Marvel, and I'm just so uninterested with this as a franchise. I love... The original trilogy, obviously. I l grew up on the Clone Wars animated series and the Solo movie. I like Revenge of the Sith and that's pretty much it with Star Wars. Everything else I really could not give less of a shit. And the odd butchering of the franchise with the modern stuff. I, yeah... I've just been completely zoned out with Star Wars. I just don't have a passion of this franchise as I once did. Uh, and yeah, but at the very least, we do have the original trilogy and some of Lucas's interesting ideas he had in the prequels. So whenever I do feel down about this franchise, I just think, well, we had three flawless movies in this universe. We have a shitload of Clone Wars episodes and those movies. So, you know, I'm not just grumpy with this franchise. It's just, yeah, could have been great, especially with the expand expansive universe. Could have been really, really good. But Disney completely missed the mark, in my opinion. It's weird because 
they clearly pull a lot of ideas from the EU, the expansive universe, but they just completely miss the mark with the ideas they grab from that. Like, even the recent sequels where Palpatine returns, obviously that is from a comic, but they completely miss the mark with it. I mean, to be fair, that comic was never the best, but it was interesting. And I feel Disney just completely... I, I don't know, just completely have made the franchise boring. I think that's probably the biggest complaint, is they made it boring. But, saying that, the original trilogy is always there to watch, if you do want to have that urge to watch <laughs> Star Wars. And the comics, you know, read some of the comics. Some of them are very, very good. Some of them are pretty shitty, in my opinion, but most are pretty good. <laughs> and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think this is probably the most weirdest, odd review <laughs> I think I've ever done, just because there's not much to do and talk about when it comes to this guy, just because it's just a very fragile feeling figure, and I feel the more it's touched with your hands the more it's prone to just rot in the future and I have had that experience with multiple hot toy figures with this material so obviously I'm not going to articulate it I don't do that with reviews I don't even do that a lot with the figures I do have I pose them once and keep them in that position until I change my mind in many years to come but especially with something with this material, I don't even want to look at it, to be honest, just because I'm scared of seeing it rot. But saying that, something that we have more now than we did back then is customizers, and I have seen a Empire custom full leather suit that someone did for their Hot Toys Vader, and if that same artist is going to do commissions for Return of the Jedi version. I probably will hop on that and have that because I know the inevitable of what the outcome is with this guy. But I know it's a cop out saying this, but these two do look great together. And for me, who's more a minimalist collector when it comes to Star Wars. I mean, honestly, this is all I have. You know, I used to have Palpatine, but I did get rid of him because at one point I had the Deluxe Luke Palpatine and I waited for like four or five years for this guy to come. So I just got rid of all of them. But now, obviously, I bought Luke back and I do have a Vader to partner him up with. And yeah... I feel that's all I need in my Star Wars collection. The two pretty much main characters here, the father and son. And that's pretty much it. So if you guys did enjoy this spontaneous review, it's kind of really weird one for me, to be honest. Because I do like diving in a bit more, but... You know, can't always do it for everything. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. And I'll see you in the next one.